Sharptail means to me wide open wild habitats. It means peace and quiet walking through the grasslands and the brushlands. Uh, it means time with friends, time with my dog. Um, it means surveys, it means watching the birds dance, listening to them chuckle when they fly, listening to them show off, rattle their tail feathers and stomp their feet. Um, it means trying to share it with other people too, to inspire them, to get them to enjoy the birds and their habitats too, and support them. When I was a kid, they were everywhere, just like prairie chickens. You'd, you'd see them all over the place. Um, you know, I, I grew up in the in the 80s when the population was still really good. So I would see birds um, standing waiting for the school bus. I would watch Sharptail walk across the road and we'd have them eating out of our out of our crab apple trees. Um, seeing them was was pretty common. And then kind of the crash happened, you know, it started earlier, but really happened in the 80s and numbers started to, to dwindle. And I think it was after I moved away and realized how much I missed the bird when I would come back. Um, that's when I decided that I needed to get involved and that's what uh, ultimately pushed me to the, the Minnesota sharp tail Grouse Society to try to help out. Losing the sharp tails and their habitat is a really uh, a difficult and sad scenario. There's been this dramatic decline and I think it's incumbent upon us to do everything we possibly can to um, renovate, enhance, and expand the habitat so that we can improve uh, sharp tails populations in those portions of the state where they were native game bird species. As a diehard upland hunter, I think my favorite thing about sharp tails is that when they get up, and you miss, they're laughing. Because they have a very distinct chuckle. And uh, it's almost humorous. You can't miss a sharp tail and get mad because they're laughing as they fly away and you just have to laugh with them. It's, uh, it's a very wily bird, um, very intelligent. Uh, not, not to discredit any other upland be game because I love them all, but, um, but sharp tails stand above the rest to me, so. I think when she woke up and it was snow and I think when we were coming through Bemidji it was nine degrees, that was maybe a little bit of what she was getting herself into. It's these organizations for uh, sharp tail grouse, rough grouse, elk, deer, you know, the list goes on and these are the people that are passionate about the species. They, they care about them, they want them to thrive. They're able to secure funding for different habitat projects and we're a, we're a spokesperson for the bird. Obviously, the sharp-tailed grouse can't speak for itself, so they need somebody, they need that organization to, to speak for them and champion for that habitat. You should always try new things and I haven't really, I prefer normally shooting big game and I thought it'd be cool just to just try something new. Oh, 
I am Matt Brewer, and I am the Web and Media Coordinator for the Minnesota sharp tail Grouse Society. My name is Kyle Arola, and I am the Wildlife Area Supervisor at Thief Lake Wildlife Management Area. Sharp-tailed grouse are a big, wide open landscape bird. They need, we figure, you know, thousands of acres in a complex to sustain their habitats or their populations. You think about their dancing ground as the hub, the center of a population. And um, they'll generally nest within a mile, sometimes up to two miles away from that, and raise their broods within that distance of the dancing ground. And, um, then range out even farther in winter looking for food. So it's when I visit and work with people that care about the birds, I let them know that it's a it's like a neighborhood effort to really sustain, keep their populations. Because um, it takes a complex of natural brushlands and haylands, pastures, ag lands, uh, to keep these birds going and help them find what they need throughout their lives. Uh, sure, my name is Jody Provost, and for the Minnesota Sharp-Tailed Grouse Society, I have been um, their DNR representative on the board and I help a lot with outreach with the brush cuts and um, their annual or biannual spring fling membership meetings. Ron Shira actually asked me the question. He said, how does an organization like yourself with so few members get as much accomplished as you obviously get accomplished. And I went, it's all about how much passion those few members have, you know, which speaks to exactly what you're saying about the millennials. You gotta get engaged to, to everything you possibly can in order to make all of that circle of life come together, you know, both as a hunter, as a conservationist, as someone who's concerned about the future, uh, you know, all of that stuff. My name is Dave Pauley. I'm the current president of the Minnesota Sharp-Tailed Grouse Society and also the Habitats Projects Coordinator.